Hi, I'm Rome Casado with the Science Fiction Book Club, and I am with Jocelyn Drake and Diana Gill. Jocelyn, could you tell us a little bit about your book? Uh, the newest book that's come out is Pray for Dawn, and the, it is a story told by Danaeus' point of view, which is a big switch for the series. And it takes a look at his past as Mira is also dealing with the Notori and some of her own dark secrets as well. That's fantastic. I know Pray for Dawn came, uh, came out last month, mm -hmm. and the new book is coming out next, next week. week. Yes. Now, how do you manage to write so fast? Um, my editor demands that I write that fast, actually. No, um, She's a cruel taskmaster. <laughs> she is. <laughs> no, uh, we, we had a great opportunity to release the books back to back. So it, I, I buckled down and, and just turned out two books as quickly as, as possible and you know, hopefully you know, impressed my editor at the same time. A submission is like a relationship. If you have to talk yourself into it, it's not the right one. So I want a book that I'm going to fall in love with, I'm going to start reading page one, and that's just it. I don't care about anything else on the planet except finishing the story, and I want to read it, I want to read it, I want to read it. And this was one of them. You're a redhead, Jocelyn's a redhead, I know Kim Harrison is a redhead, and Vicki Peterson is also a redhead. Is, does Eos have an official redheaded stable? <laughs> well... I have to say redheads do have more fun, but I didn't really know about my author's hair color until after I signed them. <laughs> At this point, it is a little worrisome. I do feel like I should start asking my new authors what color hair they have so it doesn't look like I'm collecting, you know, redheaded authors. But, you know, what can we say? We're brilliant. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the con. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Mario Acevedo. I am the author of uh, the Felix Gomez uh, Detective Vampire series. The newest book is Werewolf Smackdown. I'm Richard Cadry, and I'm the author of Sandman Slim and Kill the Dead. How much of yourself did you put into your characters, Stark and Felix Gomez? Let's start with Richard. Uh, Stark actually isn't a, a detective. He's actually much more of a uh, psychotic killer who uh, was sent to hell by bad, bad people and uh, crawled out and the first book is getting revenge and the second book is uh, sort of getting over that and uh, fighting zombies. How much of myself is in a crazy psychotic killer? I lived in Texas, so I've been to hell, <laughs> got out, here I am. Mario? Absolutely none. My, my, my vampire is taller than me, he's, he's much more handsome and he's got his hair all of his hair and uh, he would resent any any implication that he is he and I resemble one another. We've been talking in the science fiction book club and actually one of our members wants to know or wants to ask about your views on religion because you have these fantastic uh, views of heaven and hell that just and I quote leave you breathless so what are some of your religious views and how do they play out in the, the Sandman Slim novels? Well, uh, it gets more intense in this one. It's going to get really worse in book three. A lot of this, what I'm doing now with the religious stuff, comes out of the George Bush administration when um, all this fundamentalist showed up in Washington, gained a lot of power. So I wanted to understand who they were, so I started reading a lot of religious stuff and the history of the church. And you find the politics behind the religious dogma we, we uh, use now. And a lot of it comes from that. And I'm pushing it further in the context of an action story. But my view is, you know, believe what you want, but don't fucking trust anything. So Michelle Figueroa, you have your answer. Thank you so much for well, talking with the Science Fiction Book much. Club. All right, Thanks, enjoy the con.